And now, here's the Boomer and the Babe, Pete Peters and Deborah Brown. So, Tim Davis, I would like to welcome you back to our backyard. Uh, this would probably be maybe the third or fourth time you've been back here. Thank you so much for what you've done to our trees. And there's lots of them, and I appreciate it so much. So that should be a very good testimonial right from the get-go that you are an absolutely phenomenal person in our backyard and our front yard as well. So how do I know if I have hired a licensed business? Well, you always want to ask a bunch of questions. First question you probably want to ask is, who do I make the check payable to? Ah. And if they only accept cash, you probably know that they're not a legal business. If they say just their name, that's a personal check. If they can have their name in the name of their company, but it's got to be descriptive, like it could be Joe Smith Landscaping. Then you know that at least the minimal they have is a legal business. Now, you've been doing this for many years, and you've been the Real Yard Guy LLC for a long time. Matter of fact, we've done t-shirts for you back in the day when we were actually pulling t-shirts, and, uh, and we've, we've loved that business from you. So we've got this nice, this nice little symbiotic relationship going. Um, so what is your most favorite thing about being in the yard business? I'm going to guess it's the people you meet, like me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I really, I really do focus in on Sun City and Sun City West only. Um, there is a big call for hiring a legal business out here because a lot of these people, when, when people come knocking on your door, you just don't know who they are. Right. You don't, you don't even want to answer the door for them. That's why it's very, very important to uh, make that check payable to the company and you know the minimal that they are a legal business. So I know that you are a member of the Sun City HOA and I believe you're also a member of PORA. Yes, Why the Sun City important? West Homeowners Oh, and the Sun... Oh, okay. I didn't realize that oh. one. So that's an important piece. I mean, that, that gives people peace of mind, doesn't it? Yes, because on file with them, first of all, I have references. I am in good standings with both of them. And on file with them, I have my general liability policy is on file with them. Okay. So you know that if you hire me, that I am insured. All right, so that's the insurance part. And then I know that you've got an ROC number. What is that? Is that how I know you're licensed? Sure, yeah. The, the ROC stands for a Registry of Contractors. Okay. Um, if you want to check on that, you can go to the uh, website azroc.gov and simply just punch in my license number and it will tell, it'll tell you there at that point that I am licensed, that is a valid license. It'll tell you, also, it'll tell you if I have any complaints against me. Okay. And I know, just as in any business, the way you handle complaints is as important as how you handle someone's good work. And I appreciate We don't have any complaints and never have. We love you. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Tim.